whether you're a beginner or an experienced player here are the seven best solo money methods that will make you millions i started with three million dollars and in just a few days by using all these methods i'm at 31 million dollars right now the first method you should use is by doing the clock and bell farm rate you don't need any businesses or properties to start this and there's no cost involved at all definitely a great way to make money especially as a beginner now for the clock and bell farm rate you will have to do five setup missions and then you can start the final heist however some of these missions will be really difficult depending on your skill level because when you start at one of these setup missions you will see three letters on your map a b and c the easiest one to complete is level A as there won't be many enemies around and they are not armored up. The most difficult one where a lot of enemies will be at is at location C but honestly you should always go for level A since it doesn't matter which weapons and gear you have we're always going to do the heist in stealth mode. The final heist is pretty easy to complete you simply have to kill some enemies fill up your loot bag with coke and get back to Vincent's lockup. That's it, you've completed the clock and bell farm rate and earned $500,000 plus for doing it the first time, you earned an additional $250,000. Definitely a great way to start making money, but there is a 48 minute cooldown before you can start this again. So in the meantime, you can use the next money method, which is through the asset lab business. To unlock the asset lab, you first have to complete the first dose missions. This will earn you some great money as well, around $700,000. But that's not the method we're going to focus on because with the asset lab, we can earn way more than that. The main reason why the asset lab is one of the best ways to earn money is because you can do it completely solo, no matter the circumstances. Because the way the asset lab works is very simple. You resupply the business, which will then turn the supplies automatically into the product. There's even a special feature inside your asset lab where you can speed this entire production up. All you have to do is press one button at this place and a part of your supplies will be transferred way faster into the final product. Another thing is that you don't even need to be present at your asset lab to buy the supplies. You can give mod a call on your phone from anywhere on the map where you can then choose the option to buy supplies. This is definitely a big time saver. Now the higher your product bar is, the more money you will earn. Usually the problem with other businesses is that you will get multiple vehicles when you sell at the higher product bar, which makes the sell mission sometimes impossible to complete as a solo player. However, with the asset lab, no matter how full the product bar is, you will always get one delivery bike. But there's even a way how you can sell this for double the amount. You can do this by selling in a public lobby with over 25 players. Because you always get one vehicle, the mission itself isn't that long. But to avoid getting your entire cell vehicle blown up, register as a CEO and when you start the cell mission, open up your interaction menu, choose CEO abilities and start the ghost organization. This will put you off the entire map for 3 minutes, giving you some good time to do the cell mission in peace. There's even another way you can go off the map after the 3 minutes have passed, which is by calling Lester on your phone and choosing off the radar. This will give you an extra minute, especially useful if you have the cops behind you. Now when you've completed this, you've earned yourself over half a million dollars. But with the next method, you will earn money in just 5 minutes. You can do this with the payphone hit from your agency. To start one, take out your phone, call up Franklin and a blue icon will appear on your map. Now pick up the phone and there's actually a trick how you can skip this phone call. Just keep pressing the jump button and you can straight away start the mission. Now on the bottom, you will see what you have to do. In my case, I had to assassinate the target but there is a twist to it. Because if you just kill the target, you will only earn 15k, which is not much. However, in the top left corner, you will see a message saying assassination bonus. If you complete this bonus, you will increase the money you can earn by a lot. In my case, it said that I had to use a scoped rifle to blow up the target's vehicle when he's inside. 
the game will always give you these items if you don't own them this will also be marked on your map now all i had to do was wait on top of this roof until he came outside you will also see a big red arrow above his head now complete the assassination leave the area with your vehicle and you've earned yourself forty-five thousand dollars where the timer for me was even below one minute you can start the payphone hit again in 10 minutes but in your agency you got one more great money method which is by starting the dr dre heist if you go to your laptop in your agency you will see below the security contracts the vip contracts which you need to complete in order to start the final heist there are two missions that you need to complete only one time after this you won't have to do these missions ever again now the way the dr dre heist works is by completing the leak missions you will have a total of three leak missions each one of them containing three missions to complete so in total you have to complete nine missions to have the leak missions finished after you've completed the leak mission you have to do one more mission on this yellow mark place and now you can start the final heist at the same location for the final heist you will be again fighting a lot of enemies but after you've captured this guy and dr dre has beaten his ass you will complete the final heist and earn one million dollars however you can make even more money in the background while playing these missions if you use the next method which is truly salvage yard because with the salvage yard there are two ways to make money you can make money by stealing vehicles but we're going to focus specifically on the salvage yard safe because there is a way to earn money passively if you do the following with the salvage yard you can buy the tow truck which will be inside your business in this corner over here you can start the tow truck servers where you will see a car marked on your map all you have to do is tow this vehicle to your truck and drive it back to your salvage yard the locations of these vehicles are most of the time pretty close to your salvage yard so in just a few minutes you will have this completed now doing four of them will add twenty four thousand dollars every 48 minutes to your safe and on top of that when you tow one of the cars back to your business you also get around thirty thousand dollars added to your balance so now you only have to do one tow truck mission once in a while which will raise your daily income back to the twenty four thousand dollars plus earning you thirty thousand dollars for just a few minutes of work but with the next method you will earn double the passive income amount we're going to use the nightclub business for this in your nightclub office you will find a wall safe which can hold up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in order to get the most amount of money from the safe we have to pay attention to the popularity bar it's really similar to the self yard safe but way simpler to keep the bar 100% filled up you want to do the following and your nightclub in passive mode and you will see this blue dot kick this person out and you will see that the popularity bar is filled up again it's a small task that you have to perform in order to keep the popularity bar full and on top of that you will receive ten thousand dollars for kicking him out there's also a faster option to fill up the popularity bar all the way you can do this by accessing this laptop over here and choosing resident dj here you are able to hire one of the four DJs. The first time doing this will cost you 100k, but after you've hired one of them previously, their cost will be reduced to 10k. Now the important question is of course, how much are you going to earn with this? If your popularity bar is at 100%, you are able to earn $50,000 every in-game day, which is the highest passive income source in GTA Online. Besides the safe, in a nightclub you have one more passive way to earn money which might be even better than the previous one. You can do this on your laptop by going to the warehouse management and on the top you will see 5 technicians. You are able to assign each of these technicians to one of these options below because the way this works is that your technicians will collect certain goods for you which you can then sell. However, if you want to assign them to one of these options you first need these businesses to unlock these options. Now all you have to do is wait for it to fill up and if you go to sell goods, you're able to sell this for almost 1.7 million dollars and the great thing is that you will always receive only one vehicle to do the sell mission which you're also able to completely customize and make faster 
and additionally also by adding armor plating on it, adding proximity mines and even adding missiles on it. So just like the asset lab, you're easily able to do this mission within any time frame. Now that you know how to set up the passive businesses to make money in the background, the best money method to earn money actively is with the Gaia Perico heist which will earn you around 1.5 million dollars. But did you know that you can earn 3 million dollars if you swap your character? You can do this by opening up your settings, choosing swap character and over here you will basically have a new level account to start on. But since the money from your main character is shared on this account as well, you can immediately buy the Kaiprico heist and not have to wait on the cooldown. This is one useful trick that will make you a lot of money in GTA Online. But in this video, I will show you 9 other Kaiprico tips and tricks that are going to help you make millions in this game. 